Hi you guys, so today I am making a tutorial video on this hairstyle. I want to call it um, the French braid heart. <laughs> so this is basically how it looks. If you're interested in how I got my hair like this, just continue watching. First, what you're going to want to do is put a part in the middle of your head, starting from right here to wherever you want your heart to start. As you can see, I have mine right here. If you have someone to draw out your um, heart on your hair when you part it with a comb or whatever you're using to part your hair, um, it's easier to have someone do it for you. If you're doing it by yourself, it's pretty challenging. But um, yeah, so when you're doing your heart, um, you're gonna start. When you part in your part, your heart. You're gonna start it from the middle of your head, and you're gonna just draw it out, and then have it go on behind your ear. Try to have it even. Um, if it doesn't be even, it's gonna look like a funny shaped heart. And so yeah, um, once you have both sides, once you have your two sections, you're going to want to brush all your hair to the front of your hair, to the front of your head on the side you're going to start with. When doing this hairstyle, you can have your, you can have natural hair, curly hair, whatever. My hair is uh, semi straight; it's not bone straight right now. I had flat ironed my hair a little over a week now. It should be like yeah, a little over a week now. And um, so my hair pretty much got like sweated out, and I braided in my hair a couple of times, so. It's not as straight, so yeah. If you have natural hair, kinky hair, you can you know try out this style style and see if it works for you. So basically, once you have all your hair in the front, I used a little bit of my wax um, to lay down the front of my hair because, as I said, my hair is a little bit sweated out, and right here is not as smooth as I would want it to be. So as you can see, the part is going behind my ear. So when I do, when you do the heart, have it go like that. So basically, you're gonna start at the tip of your heart in the back. Hopefully, um, you guys can see this. So you're gonna take three strands, like when you know, whenever you're braiding or fish braiding, just the same. And what you're going to do is you're going to braid all along that part. And try to uh, French braid tight so that your hair won't be so loose. And add a long hair along the way like you do any other French braid. Try to go right along with the part. So once you got it braided, you're going to want to secure the braid so that once you're doing this side, it won't unrattle. I'm going to go ahead and use a rubber band. You can use a clip. If a clip works for you, you can use a hair tie or anything that will work for you. So once you do that, um, you're going to go ahead and start on the other side.
I'm gonna do the same exact thing on this side. I'm gonna uh, add my wax because I don't have any on this side yet. Not too much, just you know, you know. I'm pretty much putting it on the outsides of my hair. Now that I had the wax on my hair, I brushed it in, you know, so that it won't be so noticeable. I'm going to take my hair to the front like I did on the other side. You're going to start your braid just like you did on the other side. going along the part We should get to the front, start going down. Now that you got pretty much all it, all it braided on this side, you're going to finish braiding it until you get the end of your hair. Well, you don't have to braid it all the way. But, you know, braid it to where you think you should stop to have it connected to this braid. And you're going to braid it on this one. So, I'm going to go all the way down just in case. And I'm going to go ahead and secure it with a rubber band. So now, I'm going to take my hair tie from the back of my hair and I'm going to comb it out a little bit and just to smooth it smooth it out and you know get some of the tangles out just gently combing it and trying to get all my hair in the middle And then I'm gonna go ahead and put a little bit of wax on this hair too. Making sure I get all the wax. If you don't have wax or you know, just use anything that that works for your hair to lay it down. Okay. And I'm gonna brush the back. I'm pretty much trying to get my hair fixed so when I'm about to braid the rest of my hair. So I won't have any hairs, like any flyaway hairs. Okay. So once I do that, I'm gonna take these braids and then I'm going to take them behind like this and then I'm going to take the rubber band out on both sides and I'm actually going to cross them and twist them a little bit twist them on each other then I'm going to separate my hair into three sections.
making sure these braids are tight. Hold them tight so when you're braiding them, they won't be loose looking. So then once you got your three sections, you're going to want to braid your hair all together. It's better to braid under instead of over because it kind of look funny when you braid over. So try to braid under. Once you got it braided a little bit, you're going to want to take the braid to the front of your hair so your arms won't hurt as much. And just continue braiding it. One side seems like it has more hair than the other. Just, you know, add some hair from the one section to that side that seems like it doesn't have enough hair. And if you didn't want to do like a regular braid, you could have did a French braid. You could have, I mean, not a French braid. Um, um, what do you call that? Fishtail braid. If you can't French braid, you can also twist, do a flat twist on these instead of French braid. Even if you know how to do French braid, if you, you know, prefer a flat twist, you could have did a flat twist. You can then, you could have just either did a flat twist and braided, or you can did a flat twist and twisted the rest of your hair. Whatever you like, you can always switch it up. Do, you know, give it your own style. Um, there's no rule into a certain way you do your hair. Um, you could even, you can even try another shape than a heart, anything. You could have did the heart to the side of your head. You could have did it at the top, like up here. Any kind of way, you could have did it way back down, bottom right here. You could have did it like a small heart, you know. So, once you have the braided, you're going to want to secure it like I did with the rubber band. And let's see. This is basically how it looks. It can always look better when you have someone else doing your heart. So this is basically what it will look like. So yeah, that is it. That is a simple way to do a French braid heart on your hair. Thank you guys for watching. If you have any video requests, um, feel free to message me in a PM or a PM message or in the comment box below. Um, follow me on Instagram. As I said before, thank you guys for watching.